All right, so we've made it through the entire guide and now we are to the bonus section, which is Image Trace. Um, Image Trace is a great tool to be able to basically take a photo and um, vectorize it and then be able to manipulate it and turn it into something else. So I have um, kind of explained some different things in the guide, but I'm just going to jump into the tutorial. Um, just a cautionary thing, don't steal other people's photos. You can, of course, take your own photos and use those, um, but this is just the basics of using Image Trace and how it can be really effective for um, drawing technical flats. So what you're going to do is you're just going to copy and paste your image into Illustrator. And the first thing you're going to do is use the image trace button. It's up in your top um, menu up here. There's a bunch of different options. So you can play around with it. I typically almost always am using silhouettes. So I'm going to choose silhouettes. And you saw that little box um, that was up there just for a second. Sometimes it will warn you if it's super complicated that it will take, you know, a few minutes or something like that. So just as an FYI, the best images are going to be those that have a really high contrast between the background and the foreground. <clears throat> Next, we are going to take our image that we've just vectorized and we're going to click expand and what that is going to do is it's going to create a bunch of paths to make up these objects. So essentially what we're doing here is instead of tracing the image that we had and drawing over the top of it, we're basically just taking a shortcut and creating our outline first um, just by using image trace. So if you have other things inside of here that um, you don't want to use, like, for example, I don't want to use this middle one um, and I don't need these little inches call out things or anything like that. So I've already double clicked into the group. You're going to have to double click again into the group or you can ungroup it if you'd like. And I'm just going to delete these things that I don't want. All right, so now I have my two pieces of my buckle. And what I'm gonna do is I am going to, first of all, ungroup them so I can work on them individually. And I am going to, um, you can use um, Y to select the, this is your magic wand tool, to select anything that's filled with black. So if you have other things that are filled within your Illustrator document, just be careful because it will change everything. Um, and then you can go over and change it from being filled with black to be no fill and then with an outline that's black. So now we have our outline and all we had to do was just hit a few buttons, which is so great. And so now what you can do is go back, reference your photo or reference your sample that you're using and just draw in those little details. I'm not going to take the time um, to draw them in for you since we've already gone over that, but I will show you this example of what I've done. And you can see that I have played with the profile of my lines in order to just kind of hint at the little details and then layered them on top of each other to show that they're buckled into one another. So you can see that in my stroke panel, I've clicked and used this other profile. So there's a bunch in here. These are usually what you'll use to show fullness or darts or ruffles, things like that. So you can play with that and play with adding the different details that go into that, but it's just a great little shortcut to be able to create something a little bit quicker than having to outline the whole thing. It doesn't always work great, but for something like this, it works really well. All right, and then last thing I wanna show you is how to expand an object. So I'm just going to, I'll do the same thing that's in the guide. Let's say I have this text. <clears throat> and I'm just going to use um, the font that I have available right here. So right now this is text and 
in some cases we want to connect our text such as if you're like creating a die cut file you're going to want to expand your text in order order for the machine to be able to cut it out um, so we basically just want to take this image if you will and turn it into a bunch of paths instead of a text object this is also a great tip for if you are sharing things between illustrator and photoshop um, sometimes you'll get errors if you try to add text and you haven't expanded it so just keep that in mind so what i'm going to do is i'm going to select my text object and i'm going to go up to object and i'm going to hit expand and it will pop up with this little dialog box and you want to expand the object and the fill and we're just going to hit ok and now you can see that it's expanded this whole thing into paths so you can go back in you can see where these shapes overlap each other based on how the text was created by the designer and you can use things like your pathfinder tool which mine is right here um and for example, if I didn't want these extra paths that are in here, I just want this all to be connected. I don't want to mess with all these other lines. Um, all I have to do is hit this merge button instead of having to go in and cut those things individually or go in and delete the points. I can just use my Pathfinder tool and it's all done all in just one quick, swift motion. So those are the tips the bonus tips that i have for you those ones save me so much time when i'm going through and creating my technical flats i want to thank you so much for following along on the video series i hope that the guide and this video series was super helpful for you um, feel free to reach out if you have any questions or any feedback um, i had such a great time creating these things and i'm really appreciative that i get to share these things that I've learned over so many years with you guys in sort of a quick and dirty introduction to such an awesome um, field of illustration. Thank you so much.